It's time for well, the well, Coach, no, well, what, what's fun? Look, I'm going to take it easy on these guys today because leg day is too brutal. If I tell them that it's going to be painful, then they won't do it. That's true, Coach. Watch this. <laughs> okay, we'll go this way. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Vibration helps improve circulation, improve blood flow. And that's what you want. Open up the muscle tissue, tenderize it. Better blood flow means better healing and better performance. Less likelihood of injury. The first exercise we did today with the boys to really target the entire leg complex, the hamstrings, glutes, the posterior chain, and then the quads, is we focus on leg press. Uh, as you can see with the leg press, we did two foot positions. The first foot position we did was high and close. The high and close foot position tends to prioritize glutes and hamstrings with less stress on the quads. Whereas the shoulder width position will target more quadricep focus, the entire quadricep, the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, and medialis. In addition to involving the posterior chain, your focus is the quadriceps on the second foot position. You're also stronger in that second foot position uh, most of the time. And what we tended to do with this, this exercise was we focus on uh, volume at first, especially through the warm-up sets, because even though the warm-up sets are relatively light, the high volume puts a great demand on the muscles uh, by increasing blood flow and creating a nice warm environment to prevent injury we slowly increase range of motion throughout the training session here as we increase weight. We also want to keep in mind, pay very close attention to the range of motion of the different foot positions. With the close and high foot position, to keep the focus on the glutes and the hamstrings, you're going to want to bend the knees to no more than 90 degrees flexion. This will keep the isolation and the tension continuously on the glutes and hamstrings. In contrast, the shoulder width foot position with the toes pointed slightly outward and the knees following the toes to keep uh, stress even, evenly distributed on the knees for knee safety and knee health, you want to bend the knees below 90 degrees. Again with the second foot position, the shoulder width foot position. Be sure to keep the knees tracking directly over the toes. Do not let the knees drift in or out laterally. This will be sure to keep the stress directly on the quads and not on the lateral or medial side of the knees for knee health to keep the knees safe. In regards to range of motion of the second foot position, since we are targeting the total quad complex secondarily involving the posterior chain, you want to be sure to bring the knees down below 90 degrees. Now this is hard for some athletes, but you want to be sure to emphasize bringing those knees down below 90 degrees so you get maximum stretch of the quadriceps, the hamstrings, and the glutes for a total lower body involvement. What we did as far as reps go was we supersetted these two exercises back to back consecutively. We started with high volume reps in the 20 rep range. As the weights got heavier, we pyramided the reps to eventually bringing them to a 10 rep range, which was still targeting momentary muscular failure. You want to work each and every set to near failure, and the heavier sets work to total muscular failure. And if you have a spot that you can rely on, make sure that spot is able to take you through to the end of your goal rep range, somewhere between 10 and 20. Now here, Schwai is using his hands to assist. I generally don't allow athletes to use their hands. 
However, we were pushing Shuai beyond his comfort. So for safety and for his peace of mind, I allowed him to keep his hands on his knees. But we definitely pushed him beyond his comfort into momentary muscular failure. And that's where we're stimulating the most change in the quadriceps. Next we move on to the hack squat um, and this exercise we do specifically with a technique that I learned from my coach Milos Sarchev. It's probably the most painful exercise you'll ever do for quads. Um, this really involves feet close together with the heels slightly elevated and the stress pushing through the ball of the feet um, the, which are the knuckles that are right behind uh, the toes. And you see in this foot position it transfers all of the stress through the quads. You want to be sure to perform this exercise through an entire full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up. The painful part of this is not so much the weight, but it's the constant tension, what we call time under tension. As the athlete takes the resistance through the entire range of motion, I'm applying gentle pressure to keep the tension consistent and intense on the quad muscles. Again, the heels are elevated, so all of the stress goes right through the quads. You'll take this weight down slowly, and then the most painful part of it is the slow concentric reps that I learned from Coach Milos, because this puts a fire in those quads. Now what we did today was we did a variation. First we did a regular conventional set. We added a little bit of weight, and then we did negatives where you'll see the second exercise, we did slow five second reps on the down, the negative phase, and then we did a ballistic uh, conventional pace for about one second in the concentric phase. And this is painful enough. Negatives are typically painful uh, to perform the reps. You get the intense burn within the muscles that really stimulates change. And then the third set of the hack squat is performed with slow concentric reps in addition to the negatives. Five seconds down, five seconds up. And this is where it gets excruciating. Now again, if you watch the technique, be sure to keep the heels elevated slightly. Push through the balls of the feet and really crank five seconds up in the concentric phase. Be sure you have someone you trust as a spotter in case you get stuck because you will get stuck. You want to focus on the intense burn within the muscle. The idea is to really make the muscles burn welcoming the pain because that's what's going to stimulate change. Next we move on to our leg extensions. The first set of leg extensions is just a very conventional high rep, high volume set with reasonably heavy weight. We want to get the blood moving, we want to reprogram the brain to fire the quads, the rectus, vastus medialis and lateralis through a full extension. As we get into the deeper sets of leg extensions, we then focus on slow, controlled, time under tension with an intensifying technique of peak contraction static holds. We did two sets like this, and at the end of the third set, we added in explosive reps when the muscles are super fatigued with the explosive technique following the peak contraction static holds, you get a tremendous amount of blood flow through already fatigued muscles. So what we're achieving is two levels of momentary muscular failure. Initially, the momentary muscular failure will occur 
with the static holds in the peak contraction position, and that causes aggressive stimulation of the anabolic protein synthesis process. But then, the explosive reps flood the muscles with blood, enhancing nutrient delivery and increasing fatigue for aggressive stimulation from a second phase, and targeting a different set of muscle fibers. After the leg extension, we move on to the leg curls. To finish off the workout, where these guys are already super fatigued, we did three sets of 10 reps, conventional style, just to put the finishing touches on the hamstrings. At this point, hamstrings, posterior chain are utilized, quads are targeted from all different angles because of the various foot positions, and all of the different muscle fiber types within the lower body are targeted because we've also varied the pace and the tempo of the different performance of the exercises. Okay. All right, guys, that's a wrap on leg day with my boys. Try, try some serious, Elwin, Elwin Lee, 66. These guys are gonna grow. They're both just coming off a win at the last muscle contest show in Anaheim. Watch them, follow them, because they're gonna get bigger and better. We're gonna see them again on the stage very soon. Thank you, guys.